Hope you're having an amazing day. Here I have the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro headset with the 50 millimeter drivers and out of the gate, this headset almost checks all of the boxes when it comes to finding the almost perfect gaming headset. And the Stealth Pro also has something which I haven't uh, really seen on any other headset before. Most of the time, even the unboxing portion kind of shows you if the headset is going to be good or not. So on my unboxing of the Stealth Pro, it was uh, nothing but uh, positive. Everything comes nicely packed and inside the box we have the removable microphone, the transmitter and charging station in one. We also get two USB Type-C cables, a carrying pouch, and we also get two rechargeable battery packs, which is something you haven't really seen on many headsets and uh, you will get around the 12 hour range per battery. So I've been using this headset for a few weeks now because I wanted to give my honest opinion on them. If you've seen my prior videos of headset, you've seen me complaining a lot when it comes to not getting enough bass. And here, I'm happy to say that not only is the bass really good, but it is clear bass, not that muffled uh, bass like on some other headsets and treble and mids are good as well. A few other great features I want to touch base on are the active noise cancellation, which is another big thing here. And it works very well. And you're able to adjust it from the Audio Hub app as well. And at the same time, you're able to play two audio sources, let's say uh, one from your phone using Bluetooth and the other from your transmitter. So you can play a game and listen to your music at the same time. And when it comes time to lag, there was no None that I could notice and the transmitter is using 2.4 gigahertz connections. The ear pads come uh, with this uh, nice cushion and memory foam which feels very comfortable. No complaints there. But the top portion could have definitely used more padding because after playing Modern Warfare 3 ranked for a while the headset tends to not feel so comfortable at the top of the head. If you're noticing the headset while you're playing a game, that means it's not that comfortable. Same thing goes for the chair. If, uh, if the chair is comfortable, you don't really think about it. So same kind of idea for the headset. And uh, the, definitely the padding at the top here, you definitely notice it after having this on for a while. On the side of the headset, we are able to map out the wheel and mode button as well, which is this one here. Just so you can uh, kind of see the flexibility of the headset here. So we're able like to adjust the height and it doesn't make really any noise when you're doing this. So it's just like smooth. And when you're putting it on, you can just put it sideways so it doesn't like choke you here, which is good. Uh, this is like kind of like the cushion here, just so you can kind of get an idea how this looks like. So that memory foam. And uh, on the side here, this is where we have the portion for the microphone. So you're able to go ahead and stick the microphone in there if you want to, unless you don't have an external one. And uh, this is where we exchange the battery. And changing the battery is very simple. Just go ahead and uh, pull it out and go ahead and stick the new one in. And then uh, just go ahead and put the cap on and you're all set. And as soon as you put the new battery on, it turns on automatically. It's not like you have to go ahead and turn the headset on again, which is nice. So on the side here, we have a total of three buttons and the USB Type-C. Take a look at the charging station plus transmitter. And uh, on the back, we have the switch for Xbox and PC and uh, we get a USB Type-C cable and charge only, and also the battery. To charge it, go ahead and stick it on there, and it's uh, very easy to take it out too. Now we're just checking the sound leakage of these, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play some music here, full volume. Here is how they sound. And now we're gonna go ahead and test out the microphone that comes with this headset here. So right now it is muted to unmute, pretty much just uh, flip it. Then you'll get a little beep to let you know that it's unmuted. And uh, let's go ahead and see how this sounds like. So click record. So right now, everything you're hearing is coming directly from the Stealth Pro and no editing done. So you can kind of be the judge of how this sounds like. Uh, when I'm editing the video, I will definitely 
like listen to this and see how it sounds like. So one th one other thing which I definitely like that they included is this uh, plush cloth here. And uh, usually I have my stand for my headset, but for, I've been actually kind of putting the headset here. It's a nice uh, little bag here. And this is how the microphone sounds like. And the headset itself here weighs around uh, 404 grams. If you go ahead and put the microphone in there, so 420 grams in total. And just the battery itself, it weighs around 17 grams. One great thing about this uh, charging unit plus uh, transmitter, I'm able like to go ahead and switch it from Xbox to PC, meaning if I go ahead and switch it to Xbox, it's gonna go ahead and turn it off. So that way I can just go ahead and use my speaker here, which is pretty good. Uh, so once you go ahead and plug in the transmitter, go ahead and turn on the headset on, it will connect automatically, no need to really do anything. Now we're gonna go ahead and check out the app and see some of the functions here. So from this screen here, we're able to see the battery life. So 50% at the moment, PC mode, and it is connected. And if I go ahead and turn the wheel here, and you can see here the volume going up and down there on the actual app. And also we're able to update the firmware version as well, straight from the app here. And looking at the dashboard, the three band EQ here, the preset, which I kind of liked setting it to is the signature sound. It sounds the best for me, but you're able like to go ahead and set uh, to a, a few other different presets or just play around with the EQ as well here. Uh, down here we have chat, so chat boost, you're able to turn that on. Active noise cancellation, so you're able to turn that on straight from here. And the level which I found like works the best for me is like just right here, not going to the last one. So second last here works great. And then uh, microphone, you have a few more options here. So microphone sensitivity and also microphone monitoring volume. You're able to set those up straight from here. And superhuman hearing. The next option is the EQ. So we have Bluetooth, game, microphone. And here we're able to set the EQs. Uh, so there are some presets you're able to build up. And if you wanna go manual mode, you're able to switch everything around the way you want to. And going customize, we have auto shut off here. Levels, voice prompts, tones. So if you find those tones and voice coming on annoying, you're able to Pretty much uh, put the volume to zero there, which is good. And uh, function remapping. So those two buttons that you saw earlier, you were able to map out. So the wheel, the button, we're able to set those to something else if you want to. And as you see here. And lastly, hotkeys. So you're able to assign some hotkeys as well here. So that kind of covers the app there. And also you're able to use the same app functions from your phone as well. And it tends to work very well. The EQ and everything you're able to adjust there, it works pretty good. So my overall thoughts on this uh, Stealth Pro headset here, everything is uh, pretty positive. Uh, when it comes time to sound quality, so the bass, uh, treble and mids are pretty good actually. And uh, this headset is, very loud as well, so no complaints there. The only thing is if you're doing long hours of gaming, the ear pads definitely feel comfortable, but the top portion here, it just feels a little bit heavy and kind of like, you can notice it after a while. If it had a little bit more padding, maybe I think that would kind of resolve the issue. But if you're doing long hours of gaming, you're definitely gonna go ahead and notice this. The noise canceling is another thing which actually works very well on this headset. The other thing is which I found myself on my other pair of headset is the battery running out in mid game and then having to kind of charge it. Here, I'm able just to kind of swap the battery, which is a great idea. I think more headsets should kind of go this way, just offering another battery pack so you can just insert it and, and you're good to go. Aside from this headset not being too, too comfortable at the top here, everything else uh, checks out. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you on the next one.